Welcome to the 2012 Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Yesterday I noticed on the program that I'm listed twice, so as Jane Aaron number one, I will provide a brief introduction to the Hall of Fame, since you've already received a part of that, followed by Jane Aaron number two, who will carry out the delightful role of presenting plaques to the families of the new inductees. Uh, this afternoon, can we start the, the slides here, or the PowerPoints? Okay, thank you. This afternoon, we heard about the extraordinary birthday celebrations of three schools for blind and visually impaired students. Arizona's school has turned 100, Western Pennsylvania's school turned 125 this year, and Mississippi's school is 165 years old. Although the Hall of Fame has a few years to go before we reach our century point, we're also celebrating a birthday this year. Hall of Fame Leaders and Legends of the Blindness Field is now 10 years old. Next slide, please. The 2002 In Touch newsletter stated, an exciting new initiative is underway at APH, establishment of the Hall of Fame for Leaders and Legends of the Blindness Field. Next slide. A photograph taken then showed five APH staff members standing in a large empty room with shiny floors and nothing at all on the walls. These five included Don Keefe, then Vice President of Development, Bob Brasher, Janie Blum, Gary Mudd, and Will Evans. And here's the same room 10 years later in the next slide. And you'll see a room of statuesque kiosks that holds bas reliefs plaque plaques of the 48 Hall of Fame inductees. In the background, the wall of tribute can be seen, honoring more than 150 professionals whose colleagues have purchased an original stone in honor of their work. What a remarkable accomplishment in 10 short years. At the 2002 meeting, the 32 professionals were inducted, and you'll see nine of those professionals in the next slide representing a range of historic contributions. Those th original 32 included such people as Helen Keller, Richard Hoover, Bertold Lowenfeld, Robert Irwin, and many others whom you saw in the video. Next slide, please. Maybe we need a Hall of Fame for the Hall of Fame now to acknowledge the APH staff who have made this a reality over the last 10 years. Bert Boyer, Will Evans, Alice Garrett, Don Keefe, Gary Mudd, Mary Nell McLennan and Paul Zirkelin have supported the effort along the way. Bob Brasher has truly been the wind beneath the wings of our Hall of Fame. He is called the curator, but that doesn't do justice to the range of roles he's taken on. He's been our administrator, our fundraiser, our cheerleader, our interior decorator, and general magician at large. So we thank Bob for all that he has done to make the Hall of Fame exist and grow. Janie Blum has been a continuing supporter of the Hall, serving on the Board and Governors and now Treasurer, perhaps a lifetime appointment, and assisting in many ways with communication and planning. And of course, Tuck Tinsley has facilitated the context in which our history could be maintained and preserved through the extraordinary personalities who have shaped our profession. Next slide. Andrew Dakin has created the bas-relief plaques depicting the faces of each inductee, skillfully crafted from the original photographs. Next. Dean and Naomi Tuttle wrote the first 48 biographies for inductees, which appear on the Hall of Fame website. They have now passed on the torch of chief biographers, and the biographies of this year's inductees were developed by Kay Farrell and Sandy Rosen, for which I'd like to express my appreciation to uh, both the Tuttles and to this year's biographers. Thank you to APH for creating an evolving history book of our field. If you don't live close enough to visit it in person, certainly you can visit it through the virtual tour. I also want to acknowledge in the next slide the professionals who have served on governing boards. Past Chair Jim Deramek has been a committed and conscientious leader of the board. He is now past chair and a non-voting member. But I want to, is Jim in the room, I hope? Jim? Okay, I want to acknowledge Jim's excellent work on behalf of the board. So. The 
Jim was extremely conscientious and detail-oriented, and I have yet to meet that standard. He was an outstanding chair for several, several terms, but he did not prepare me well for the job. He made it look far too easy, I'm afraid. He also warned me that the hardest part of chairing the committee would be arranging a phone call at a time when all members could attend. Jim, you weren't quite right. That's the second hardest part of the job. The hardest part has been guiding the board to select just two new inductees each year from an array of excellent nominations. There are so many very good people in our field. Our current board includes Kathy Hubner, Ann McCuspie, Janie Blome, Billy Brookshire, Mike Cole, Greg Goodrich, John Maxson, and Diane Wormsley. The time for the 2013 nominations is coming up and we encourage you to consider nominating an outstanding professional. Details are available at the nomination link on the Hall of Fame website, and if you can get those in in, what, about January, Bob, earlier? But we start considering those uh, early to mid-spring time, and we'd love to have uh, many, many difficult decisions to make in spring coming up. Um, I want to mention before I go on to the next and the, the most anticipated part of um, our evening, um, that we do have with us in the room three former Hall of Fame inductees, and I just want to ask them each to stand so we can acknowledge them. First, Dr. Richard Welsh. Okay. <laughs> Second, Dr. Dean Tuttle. <laughs> And third, Miss Alice Rafferty. Are you here, Alice? There she is. There she is. There she is. So thanks to each of these inductees, and thank you so much for continuing to attend and support the hall. This year, as you know, we're inducting Dr. Phil Hatlin and Dr. Pete Wurzberger to the hall. Thank you to each of our speakers and to everyone here for being a part of the celebration of Phil Hatlin and Pete Wurzberger. We hope that this opportunity will send us each back to our own jobs and to our homes uh, with new incentive to do well because we have that incentive and that motivation through the leaders and legends in our field. This concludes this evening's ceremony. Safe travels to all. Thank you. <laughs>